Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Surfer. Surfer is a versatile gridding, contouring, and surface mapping software package. In this video, I will briefly explain the different map types available in Surfer. There are 16 map types in Surfer. What type of map you create depends on the type of data you have. If you have vector files like DXF or shape files, or image files like JPEG or TIFF files, you will create a base map. If you have LiDAR, LAS, or LAZ files, you will create a point cloud. If you have ASCII data in a format like an Excel spreadsheet or DAT file, you can either post the point locations in a base map, post map, or drill hole map. Or, you can grid the data and display the grid as one of 11 grid-based map types. If you have a grid file like a GRD, ASC, or DEM file, you will create one of the grid-based maps from it. Alternatively, download grid files, vector files, and image files directly from online servers into Surfer to display as grid-based maps and base maps. For each map type, you can select the map layer in the Contents window and edit the properties in the Properties window. Now, let's create each map type and learn a little more about them. Base maps plot images, points, lines, and or areas and are created from imported or downloaded files. These files can either be vector boundary files, image files, or ASCII data files. To create a new base map, click Home, New Map, Base, and select one of the base map options. You can click Base to create a base map by importing a vector or image file. You can click Base from Data to create a base map by importing a data file. You can click Base from Server to create a base map by downloading imagery or vectors from an online server. And you can create an empty base map by clicking Empty Base Map. Base raster and base vector maps can also be created by dragging and dropping a file into Surfer's plot window. We will click Base to load in an image file. In the Import dialog, choose your image or vector file and click Open. Post and Classed Post maps are created from ASCII data files. They both post points at defined XY locations. Post map points can be colored with a continuous color scale based on a data column. Class post map points can be binned into discrete groups with custom symbols for each group. To create these maps, click Home, Wizard, Map Wizard. In the Map Wizard, select your data dialog. In the Select File section, choose your data file. In the Select Data Column section, verify the X and Y columns are correct and set the Z column to the column you want to use to color your points. For data files like this, the Data Preview can help you choose these columns. Click Next. In the Map Wizard, select your Map Type dialog, choose the map or maps you want to create, click Finish, and the map is created with both a post and a class post layer. The drill hole map generates a 2D drill hole layer that shows the location, deviation, and path of each hole, core, or well. To create a drill hole map, click Home, New Map, Specialty, Drill Hole. The drill hole map type models the path of a drill hole or well in a 2D map view and in true 3D. When modeled in the 3D view, drill hole paths, data points, and intervals can be displayed and colorized by data content values. See how to create this map type and view it in 3D in our Drill Holes Map Training video. Point cloud maps are created from LiDAR, LAS, or LAZ files. They display points at XY locations which are color-coded by elevation, intensity, return number, or classification. LiDAR data can be combined from multiple files and filtered with various criteria when creating a point cloud map. Point cloud maps can be displayed three-dimensionally in the 3D view. To create these maps, click Home, New Map, Specialty, Point Cloud. In the Open dialog, select your LiDAR file and click Open. In the Import Points dialog, Edit the import options and then click OK to create the map. 
For more information on Point Cloud Maps and these import options, see the Point Cloud Maps training video. The other 10 map types in Surfer are based on grid files. There are eight two-dimensional grid-based map types and two three-dimensional grid-based map types. Grid files can be created directly in Surfer from XYZ data files by clicking the Home, Grid Data, Grid Data command, or you can obtain grid files from other sources, such as downloading into Surfer from online WCS servers or by exporting them from another program. Of the eight two-dimensional grid-based map types, six can be created as new maps. One is created by first creating a color relief, and one must be added to an existing grid-based map. The six that can be created as new maps are contour maps, color relief maps, watershed maps, vector maps, peaks and depressions maps, and grid value maps. To create these, click Home, Wizard, Map Wizard. On the Select Your Data page of the Map Wizard, choose a data file or grid file in the Select File section. Click Next. On the Select Your Map Type page, select one or more map types to create. The map types with a lock icon cannot be created from the selected file type. We'll select all of the 2D grid-based maps and click Finish. The map is created with five layers for these map types. The most commonly used grid-based map in Surfer is a contour map. Contour maps are two-dimensional representations of three-dimensional data. Contours define lines of equal Z values across the map extents. The shape of the surface is shown by the contour lines. Color relief maps are raster images based on grid files. Color relief maps assign colors to grid cells based on the Z values in the grid file. By default, hill shading is enabled to emulate a three-dimensional surface. The color relief map can be converted to a reflectance map. Color relief Reflectance maps assign colors to grid cells based on the orientation of the z-value relative to a light source. Watershed maps display regions draining into a stream, stream system, or body of water. A watershed map reads the data from a grid file and splits the grid up into basin or catchment areas. Stream paths are calculated based on the amount of flow into the grid node from all surrounding grid nodes. Each catchment area has a stream where water will collect from any point within the catchment area. Vector maps display directional and magnitude data using individually oriented arrows. Vector maps can be created using the information in one grid file or two grid files. For one grid vector maps like this one, at any grid node on the map, the arrow points in the direction of the steepest descent and the arrow length is proportional to the slope magnitude. Two grid vector maps contain Cartesian or polar data. With Cartesian data, one grid consists of X component data and the other grid consists of Y component data. With polar data, one grid consists of angle information and the other grid contains length information. Grid value maps display the location and values of the grid nodes with labeled symbols. The ViewShed map cannot be created as a new map but must be added to an existing two-dimensional grid-based map. ViewShed maps can show areas that are visible or invisible from a stationary transmitter location. To create one, we will copy the color relief, hill shaded map, and add a ViewShed to it. To create a ViewShed, select the map to add it to and click Home, Add to Map, Layer, ViewShed, then click on the map where you want the transmitter to be located. The last two-dimensional grid-based map is the Peaks and Depressions map. To create a Peaks and Depressions map, click Home, New Map, Specialty, Peaks and Depressions. Select your grid file and click Open. This map type identifies the peaks and depressions in the grid by drawing a polygon around these areas. A peak is where drainage flows away from the closed contour, and a depression is where drainage flows into it. Surfer also has two three-dimensional maps, the 3D wireframe or 3D surface. 
Wire frames are created by connecting Z values along lines of constant X and Y. The more grid lines the grid file has, the more wire lines will be shown on the map. You can overlay contours, post, and vector base maps on top of the wireframe, but it is not possible to overlay images on wireframes or to overlay multiple wireframes together. To create a wireframe, click Home, New Map, 3D Surface, 3D Wireframe. In the Open Grid dialog, select your grid file and click Open. To rotate the map, select it and click the Map Tools, Map Tools, Trackball command. Then click and drag to rotate the map, or select the map in the Contents window, and then set the rotation and tilt on the View page in the Properties window. 3D surfaces are fully rendered colorful representations of the grid file. Any other map type can be overlaid with a 3D surface map, including base maps from images. Additionally, multiple 3D surfaces can be layered to create a block diagram. To create a 3D surface, click Home, New Map, 3D Surface, 3D Surface. In the Open Grid dialog, select your grid file and click Open. You can rotate the map in the same way you rotated the wireframe map. Grid-based maps can be converted from one map type to another. To do so, select the grid-based map layer, then click Map Tools, Layer Tools, Convert Layer, and choose your layer type. Most map types can be viewed in Surface 3D View. The 3D View window displays a map in a three-dimensional view space. The input grids from grid-based layers are rendered as surfaces in the 3D view. Base, vector and raster, post, and class post layers that contain Z values are rendered as 3D points, polylines, or polymesh. The visualizations from the grid-based maps are also overlaid on the surface. View a map in the 3D view by selecting the mapped object and click Map Tools, View, 3D View. This concludes the video training for map types in Surfer. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.